Okay, guys, this is the. I'm just making some experiment here <coughs> with some um, PTC, some um, polyfuse. I got a few there here. These ones are, are 500 million pairs. But the ones I'm trying actually with the. Um, with the 78 uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh regulator is is uh, 300 million pairs. That means that <clears throat> at 300 million, when it reaches 600 million pairs, will its resistance will go up. Is this little yellow thing here or brown? Its resistance will go up and will keep a constant current, or it should of 300 million pairs when it's triggered so it should trigger at 600 and uh, it should keep a current of um, 300 million pairs this obviously is a short circuit protection right <clears throat> so I got this circuit running running it's uh, at the moment is drawing 243 million pairs so I got three devices powered my boss, my old boss pedal board and uh, my Coros and my Yulupino. They are powered by the regulator. It's cold to the touch. It's taking 240 million pairs. Very important, guys. Very important. Always a heat sink, right? Always. Because it's not warm like this. You might think, oh, it doesn't need it. But this is the reason why it is not hot. Okay. So, let's demonstrate here. I'm going to provoke a short circuit. Let's see some smoke. <laughs> I'm going to provoke a short circuit by shorting the output after the polyfuse to ground, which is the thing here. So, you'll see that the lights will go off there. So, okay, short circuit. The short circuit LED came up. Million pairs is decreasing. That means the resistance from the polyfuse is increasing. Because see that is bright, is bright now. It's, it looks like it is wet because it's hot. The I think it keeps a constant, uh, constant current of constant temperature of eighty degrees. At eighty degrees, it has maximum resistance. See, it keeps a. Um, current of 72 million pairs well the, the the data sheet of the ptc of the polyfuse says they should keep a constant current of uh 600 million pairs or of 300 million pairs sorry and should trigger at 600 as you can see it's shorted the thing is off i will lift the short circuit and it is wanting to power on but it's not because its resistance is still too high as you can see the resistance is coming low and the current is increasing the regulator is cold to the touch really is cold to the touch because this the polyfuse uh, increase it is increased is resistance so the thing is not still coming on because i'm if i i'm going to turn this off for a moment just put the phone down for a while so I turn it off now, as you can see, the, um, the amp meter is, is off, power is off. I wait a little bit until the PTC cools down. And uh, we'll be able to see that the, the power will be restored as soon as the, the polyfuse uh, cools down. So I'm going to turn it on now. And there you go. There you go. Short circuit is cleared. Power reset. Normally it should it should not need to reset, but you know the the it cools down slowly if there is some current passing through it, right? So it's we are back to 243 million pairs. As you can see, my regulator and my power supply are safe. Didn't blow up. Didn't even get warm. The only thing that got hot was this little bugger right here. This got hot and this saved my circuit. This is a really cool thing to have in your pedals or in your electronic circuits. That's a very good way to protect um, 
your circuits from and your power supplies from short circuits and uh, they are quite cheap I think Taida has, has them as well I bought a few from them already the others I bought from eBay or from Aliexpress or whatever and I think other shops in Germany also here have them but yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video and it was helpful to you helpful to you to at least we, we are always learning every day so I thought I would share this I was going to do this experiment any, anyway because I'm building a power supply for my pedal board so I need to do this experiment but you will be you will have to choose very carefully the value of your polyfuse. I would say that for a pedal or so, you don't need more than 200 million pairs or so. They will trigger at 400 million pairs and keep uh, 100 million pairs short circuit current, which is nothing. Your power supply can cope with it and not get home, not get destroyed. Yeah, not get hot and not get destroyed. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, see you around.